Shalom is Sunday morning and I'm here at the gym and this gym is literally empty. You can walk through the machines, you're going to see that very few machines are occupied, very few people are here. But if we were on January 1st, early in the morning, this place would be totally, and every single gym in America, totally packed. Because people promised that they're going to start working out for the new year. They promise they make vows to make changes in their lives that literally will improve their lives. This week's Torah portion, Matot, talks about those kinds of vows. It says that when you make a vow, you are not allowed to go back on your word. You should do the best to fulfill your, your vow. But usually when you vow to do something, it's something that will improve yourself. Either eating better, working out better, finding a better job, finding a better partner, getting out of a bad relationship, cutting off someone that eventually you, you need to cut off in, from your life. But some of us are not successful by doing that. We know what we want, but we leave our comfort zone and then we know where we want to be. But on the way there are bumps and traffic and problems and we go back to our comfort zone. So instead of our life become this journey, our life becomes an alley and we are always going round and round, wanting something different, but never leaving our comfort zone, feeling hurt by our previous experiences. What I want to suggest for you to do is, instead of you relieve your life Try to pre-experience the things you want in your life. So then when the situation appears in your life that is not exactly what you wanted, you'd be more likely to take a grip of that situation and act in a different way that help you to get your goal. And understand that making the U-turn is not something that God wants you to do. The U-turn is explained in the Bible is one of thou shall not, thou shall not make the U-turn. You promise yourself that you're going to become a better person, that you're going to become a healthier person, that you're going to become a more efficient person. You just have one life to do it. Making a U-turn is not a choice or an option. I hope to see as many of you this week at the Ritz-Carlton in California. If you have not already signed up for my seminar, I will be looking forward for you to do this. You have very few days because I'll be there next weekend, exactly one week from today. Today is Sunday, so one week from today, probably you'll not be watching this on Sunday, but uh, uh, you have even less time. Get in touch with Margie. Shalom, shalom. Have a wonderful week. I'll be casting next week direct from, probably from there.